bring it on. It's Holy Jaxi in the house. No reason to do anything else but drop the Jaxi. Unfortunately, it might come out of the Keeper of Veil, but maybe I can control it where I can just put down the Dalatus. Two Dark Fire Sacrifices, not too useful. I can even use a Dark Fire Sacrifice to put out the Keeper of Veil and the Jaxi, although it's not that useful, I'd say. Is he just letting me take it out, or does he have a combo already? This is the second time this has happened to me. Like, this happened to me once yesterday. I don't even have a way to get rid of it. Alright, let's get rid of the Darkfire Sacrifice. Maybe I can get something good like Inferior Shroud? No. Gosh darn it. Alright, the hope is that the Jaxi lands on one of these two spots, right? I guess that's actually not too big of a deal. I could have done the same play anyway, because he can't put the Gorehorn behind me. Alright, quick lesson on dealing with turn 1 backstab minions. Ho hopefully it makes some sense. Anyway, let's just look at some options that you can play. You're going to want to play, put down your general over here or over here, like what I did in the game. This way, your opponent can only go here and here, and that way he won't get infinite backstab value, so... And if he attacks into the Jaxi, that's not, well, mini Jax, not too big of a deal. If I could get a Shadow Reflection on that mini Jax, that bad boy is going to do a lot of damage. Anyway, well, the point of this deck is to get out your big Death Dying Wish minions out early, and then you can revive them with the Keeper of Veil. Unfortunately, Jaxi is kind of a, kind of ruins the deal, but the Jaxi is pretty good with his Shadow Reflection, so it's kind of okay to actually keep the Jaxi there, because the mini Jax is insane, it can represent infinite value, so that's valuable for the Keeper of the Veil. But otherwise, you pretty much want to get out your Daltuses or your <laughs> Vorpal Reavers if I get the chance. Well, that's a mistake. Unless he has a Jusk's position. Seems like a super big mistake to me. <laughs> okay! Bring it on, bring it on! Shadow Sister Lacan is here. Or Shadow Sister Kalanto. Kalanto? Pretty massive. If he's unable to get rid of the Shadow Sister, then the Wrathlings will heal me up nicely. Yeah, why would you put the 4 wins match out here? I can get a 2 for 1 with the Vorpal Reaver. I'll keep what my hand is right now. He only has one card, so I guess I just won. Yeah, I mean, unless he has a Heaven's Eclipse. It has to be Heaven's Eclipse, but even if he has a Heaven's Eclipse, he's already way too far behind. Well, the combo is not that good if you run out of cards way too fast, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my man. I don't even need to play the Keeper yet because I might get the Mini Jacks. The Daltus is much better overall. Probably want to play around Ghost Lightning, so, you know, smack these guys in. You know, heal myself up just a little bit. <laughs> Ain't no damage I took. Alright, when I think about classes with the most value, I think of Abyssian, of course, but now, matched up against Vitruvian, is it really that much of a difference? Because Dominant Will is so great at taking out, like, single target cards, and then you can get so much value out of trading it off and the tempo. It's pretty insane. But check it out, see which one is the king of value. Hopefully it lands on a good spot. That's an excellent spot. All right. <laughs> I just attack in here. The Alamancer is pretty insane. Don't really want to take him on, take him head on. I do have a dispel for a Mar Healer or a Nimbus or any of that kind of shenanigans, and I could ju just drop another Vorpal Reaver next turn. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty insane. Okay, the dispel's pretty big. Not that big. But it was fair. It was a fair... fairly big. <laughs> Get rid of a Spectral Blade, I guess. Probably should have done that earlier, but this is alright. <laughs> I can even put the Sphere of Darkness to make this guy a little bit less valuable. 
And the Spectral Revenant can come down a couple of turns, so that's pretty insane as well. In fact, I can get rid of the Obelisk with the Reaper of Nine Moons. It'll just fly all around the board, getting rid of <laughs> Obelisks. Left and right. Oh man, I guess he's going for Entropic Decay. That's pretty brutal. Or it's going for removal of the Warper Reaper, that's pretty insane as well. Alright, let's just get rid of the Obelisk for free. And drop some Reavers! Yeah, just out of range of the general, so he won't be able to use Entropic Decay. Oh yeah, Shadow Sister's also in business, so that's another win condition. He just won't be able to put down the damage, I believe. <laughs> and it's very easy to overwhelm your peeps with the Shadow Sister, just because you're able to get so much health, your mid-range and aggro opponents will not have enough value to take him out if they're unable to remove him. So it requires some kind of removal, which is super insane just as one card. But if he has Blast, that would be pretty insane. Blast it up! Although Blast is not too good since I have so many pings on the board. Alright, let's see what comes out. Anything good? Pax of Cat is pretty good. It's not that great, but I'd say it's pretty good. It's a pretty insane card. <laughs> oh, Blistering Scorn. That's pretty sweet. But can you take on the Revenant? I guess this is more of a control Vitruvian. <laughs> Aw oh man, that's a huge spawn, Soulburn Obelisk. <laughs> Gosh. It's gonna want to protect the Soulburn Obelisk from my general, I'd imagine. Or I can just get rid of a Spectral Revenant. That really stinks. It's a whole shebang. Gotta play around, uh... A lot of stuff, I guess. Mm. I guess technically in a long game, I should perform better than he does. But that Dominant Will was way too much. Yeah, this deck is weak against like Dominant Will because I have a lot of big, big guys. Not going to make any attacks here. Keeper of Bale is excellent, a little bit late, but hopefully I can get something good. I have a lot of Warper Weavers and Spectral Revenants, so, or just one Spectral Revenant, so I think the Keeper of Bale should be pretty insane. Yeah, Keeper of Bale holds kind of two utilities in the game, being a huge tempo player on turn 5. Well, mid 5 mana, just in case you get something really big out early on, like uh, Daltus, or even a Reaper of Nine Moons, if you're lucky, I guess, with uh, Darkfire Sacrifice. But otherwise, yeah. Uh, after that, you definitely want to just hold on to Keeper of Veil as long as you can because then you can drop him down for a huge amount of value because there's only like a few Jaxies, so the longer the game goes, the more likely that Keeper of Veil will be really insane with all the other heavy minions you got in the game. Because he has lethal? Almost. That's pretty good. It's not quite good enough right now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> but this is good. This is good. Another keeper avail. Okay, just keep it coming, keep it coming, and then I'll be golden. Golden off. Unless he has another dominant will then. That'd be kind of tough. But would anyone really put two dominant wills in their deck? I hope not. <laughs> oh, he got the rush guy also. That's pretty insane. He probably wants to smack into the Vorpa Reaver. There's no reason not to. Because the Vorpa Reaver is going to have to attack into the Inquisitor Kron anyway. Although I can use the Daltus to smack into the Inquisitor Kron as well. <laughs> you should realize that I have lethal, right? Well, not not particularly. Okay, so it's getting rid of that. No, I still have lethal. Uh, no, no, I don't have lethal. <laughs> I have a lot of health, though. More dial test, not too bad. There are pretty valuable cards. I had some pretty good top decks, but let's see if this is the end. It is the end! Outvalued! Ooh, that's spicy. Anyway, unfortunately, a Vision's Keeper is not as quite as good as Magmar's just because the Flash Reincarnation does do a lot to get you out some nice guys early on so you can totally control what you put out and get some incredible minions out with the Keeper of Veil. I mean, in terms of like a longer game, it's better in a Vision just because you can reduplicate your Vorpal Reavers and Spectral Revenants if you're really lucky. But otherwise, it was a pretty fun deck. Be sure to check out some more videos and subscribe if you like and I'll see you.